And his sidekick, Tonto. So I guess he's not really that lone. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. Uh, what, uh, oh, we're, we're, we're doing the opening again. This is a story of one of the most mysterious characters to appear in the early days of the West. He has a mask. He was a fabulous individual. Fabulous! He brought fear to the lawless and hope to those who wanted to make this frontier land their home. He was known as the Lone Ranger. Again, had a sidekick. Not Lone. Before his coming, this new land of the West was a wild, unruly territory. The West gone wild. Brave American pioneers moved in covered wagons. On horseback and afoot. While stealing land from those who lived on it before. They not only had to settle and build, they had to fight. For their right to party. Beyond the reach of law and order, might was right. Illegal steroid use ran rampant. Born of necessity in this chaotic period of westward expansion, an organization was developed to combat the evil forces of the time. The WNBA. An organization called... The Texas Rangers. The Walker Texas the Rangers? Of maintaining law and order. Six Texas Rangers ride alertly across a western landscape. Where are we going? All are courageous, straight-shooting men. At their head is a stranger, a half-breed scout. Oh, hey, 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 half-breed, buddy. What's with all the personal attacks? Suffering from a severe wound. There you are, Collins. Nothing to worry about now. Thanks, Captain. I should worry about a wound. I'm lucky to be alive. It was just a paper right. cut. Very few people are after those outlaws have struck. So they killed everybody at the trading post. Everyone. Mr. Simpson, his wife, the young Indian helper, even old Pete McHenry. That's too bad. He owed me 20 bucks. How about the outlaws? Any of them got shot? Four of them were in pretty bad shape. They had to be tied to their horses to ride away. Kinky. I got two of them myself. Too bad you couldn't hit more of them. Yes, sissy. Which way they go? They rode up north into the Badlands. That's pretty rough country. One might even call it bad. But with wounded men in tow, they can't travel very fast. We got a chance to catch them. But they have a five-hour start. Even if you overtook them, they outnumber you. Mister, the rangers are used to long odds. How about you? You could use your help in locating their trail if you feel strong enough to ride. I don't need two arms to guide a horse. Besides, I've a score to even up, too. Is he wearing a woman's blouse? I'll go along. Good man. He is. Back five days rations. We've got ten minutes to be in the saddle. Right. Bill, send Captain Reed to me. He's leading your detachment. Yes, sir. So came the half-breed Collins. Whoa, narrator. What did I already say about the half-breed stuff? What did Collins ever do to you? In the West, the notorious Cavendish gang. What a cute jacket Collins has to match his cute blouse. It's their trail, Reed. Yeah. It indicates they're riding slowly as we figured. Yes, it does. Basically, neither has a clue what's going on. Let's go, boys. And the orchestra courageously rides in front. Have you more than three hours old? Sure, yeah. They're heading off into that canyon. Yeah, look that way. Have you been in this vicinity before? A couple of times. On ladies' night. I think it might be a good idea for us to check that canyon from the rim first. Say what now? I'll go ahead and scout the place. One man would be a lot less noticeable than all of us going. I don't want it to be a sausage fest. All right. We'll wait here and give the horses a rest. Dismount, man. Home, home on the range, where the beer and the cantaloupe play, where seldom is heard an encouraging word, and the skies are not pouty all day. Hold it, mister. Breach. Hello, Whitey. Who are you calling Whitey, half-breed? 
It's you. The new man, huh? Yeah, it's me. How's the plan going? All right. The range is the back of the canyon entrance. You think they'll keep on coming? Sure, why not? It's in the script. They're pretty smart umbers, you know. Yeah. We've tried to get them before. Didn't pan out. I wasn't with you then. Where's Cavendish? He's up there a ways. Leave your horse here. All right. Well, wait, you forgot to get a claim ticket. I knew they'd fall from my little trap, Collins. <laughs> that bullet I put in your arm really convinced them. Yeah, Cavendish. It sure did. Yeah, jerk. When I get through around here, it's going to be a long time before any ranger outfit patrols in this section of the country. We're going to make this something they won't forget. Here's the ambush all set. Take a gander over there. What's a gander? Hmm. Thought the Grand Canyon would be, I don't know, grander. You know, my man could slaughter a whole army from up here. It looks good to me. Now, we're going to hold our fire until the lawman right in directly below us. Jerry? Jerry? You tell the boys I'll shoot first. That'll be the signal to open up on the rangers. Right. And Jerry? When what bad guy is named Jerry? Looks like a seal. Who he are these straight. rangers you want us to kill? Collins, you're doing a good job for a new man. Thanks, Chief. I'll get back there and bring on the Texas rangers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 